Hi, I'm Joe James. In this video, we're going to continue on with our image series in Java. And in this video, we're going to learn how to brighten a color image. So this is a very common function that you need to do all the time in image processing, brighten it. So your image is underexposed and you just want to be able to see it. You need to pump up the brightness a little. So this is a pretty simple function. We're going to use in Java the buffered image library. And basically, similar to our other videos in this series, we're iterating through it pixel by pixel. We're not just using a library function to just let somebody else do all the work for us. We want you to learn how to write the algorithm and understand how the algorithm works its, itself uh, by writing uh, pixel by pixel uh, implementation. So that's how we're going to do this. So we started out by loading up an image in previous videos, uh, some photo, and then we can display it to the screen. We have a display function that we wrote in previous videos. We also have pre previous videos that show you how to convert an image to grayscale, uh, pixelate an image, resize an image, blur an image. Uh, we've got all those commented out here, but you can see the code is in the same program. All the code is on my GitHub site at the link below. It's downloadable. You can load the code. You can run your own images on it and you can tinker with the code all you want. So that's the whole point here is for you to learn to use the program and to write programs. So we're gonna start by loading an image, displaying the image, and then brightening it by some percentage. There's gonna be two parameters we pass into our brighten function. One is the original image, and two is the percentage we want to brighten it by. And then we're gonna return an image from that function and display it. So let us write that function now. It's not a very long function. Brighten a color image by a percentage. It's important to understand this will not work for a black and white image. We would need to write a separate function for that. So let's see, we're gonna pass in a buffered image called IMG and some integer percentage. Hopefully that's between zero and 100. I didn't put a check in here to verify that it is between zero and 100%. So if someone passes in an invalid percentage if I screw up our, our program. Uh, but we're gonna use some variables, uh, red, green, and blue, of course, R, G, and B, initialize those to zero, and an RGB value, the composite value of zero, and a P value of zero, which is also a composite value. And then the first thing we wanna do is convert this percentage that we passed in to an absolute value. So the RGB scale is 0 to 255. We want to convert this to some number, an absolute number, on the 0 to 255 scale of brightness. So we do that by dividing our percentage by 100 and multiplying it by 255. And that will give us, instead of a percentage ranging from 0 to 100, it will give us um, a pixel brightness value from 0 to 255, where 0 is 0% and 255 is 100%. And then we're going to call that amount, amount. So that's a brightness amount rather than a brightness percentage. And then similar to our previous videos that we did, uh, however, all with grayscale images, we're, we're going to um, create a new buffered image and we'll call that new image. We're going to use exactly the same width and height as the image that we passed in. IMG, we get the height and we get the width, and we use those as the dimensions for the new image. And instead of using grayscale, which we did in most of my previous videos in this series, you'll see that the color library we're going to use is int argb, which is the color library. It's the standard color library for a color image. And then when we're done, we're gonna do some image manipulation in here to this new image. Right now we just have a blank canvas for a new image. We're going to write data to it. And then when we're done, we'll return that new image. We're gonna use nested for loops to iterate through the pixels one by one. So we're gonna iterate through the rows and columns of pixels using X and Y coordinates. For each pixel, what we're gonna do first get the RGB value using this get RGB function. This is a function of the buffered image library. We pass in X and Y coordinates, we can get the RGB value. 
And now that has R, G, and B values from 0 to 255, as well as an alpha, which is a transparency or opacity value. Uh, so it's got all that data packed into one integer. And what we want to do is take out of that the R, the G, and the B values. So the way we do that is by using a shift. So uh, we, we get uh, the B, we just um, we end it with 0xff. And then with the, um, to get the, the green value, we shift 8 and we end it with 0xff. And the red value is shift 16 and we end it with ff. And then for each of these, we're going to add the amount, which is the, the number of brightness, brightness values from 0 to 255 that we calculated up here. So let's say 10%, this is going to be about 25, 25 that's going to be the amount. Um, in our example, I think we passed in 20%, so that should be probably around 51, the amount that we're going to add to that. So we're going to add that value to R, G, and B. Now we've got a problem. We want to make sure these do not exceed 255, because if we do, we're going to get an error. So we're going to clip them at 255. If R, G, or B values are now greater than 255, now that we've added this percentage to them, we're going to cap them at 255. That way we can avoid any errors. So these three if checks are just going to verify that we didn't exceed the maximum brightness for that pixel. And then we're going to pack all of this RGB and opacity data into this P value, the pixel value for one pixel. And lastly, we set in our new image, we set the RGB value for the X and Y coordinates to this P that we just calculated. That is pretty much it. That's all there is to the uh, Brighton function. That's all we need to do. So after that, we can compile and run this uh, function and see how it works. Again, this is only going to work on color images. We, we use the color, color library, not grayscale. So this is only going to work with color images. We'll go to our command prompt and compile our image filter program and run that. Let's take a look at the before and after results here. That is after and that is before. So you can see we passed in a parameter of 20 for the brightness and we got a result that is about, yeah, it looks like 20% brighter. So that is our image brightness filter. I hope this was helpful for you. And if so, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.